Velociraptor by Ella Jade Turgidson, as read by Bill Clinton. Take one. All right, Bill, how are you feeling today? Pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> you want to give this a ch- you want to give this a shot? Okay, let's roll because I have to be on a plane in like ninety minutes. This is a this is a short story, right? Uh, yes. Okay. I was uh, I, I thought you guys were joking with this dinosaur erotica stuff, but then I went online. I found out it was real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had sex with a dinosaur in a long time because Hillary and I don't even live in the same house anymore. <laughs> so, taken by a T Rex. That, that's my favorite one. Taken by the T Rex, but this is a different one. Um, you know, you know that's what we call t- uh, Democrats who uh, never donate to the party is uh, T Rexes because their little arms can't reach their wallets. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That's hilarious. Uh, okay. Anyway, yeah, I kept saying no to this job, but then they said it was Velasa raped her, and that kind of sparked my interest, you know. Okay, you ready to roll? Uh, so, yes, sir. I'm ready. Okay, should I just... Uh, <clears throat> Go ahead. Okay. Velasa raped her by Ella J. Turgidson, read by Bill Clinton. Ella J. Turgidson. She sounds like she'd be a fat chick. Is she a fat chick? She got, um, that's... She, Kind of, she kind of has a fat chick name. You can you can edit that out, right? I'll take that out. Yeah, kind of okay. Very good. Uh, let's see. Sorry. <clears throat> Velasa raped her by Ella Jade Turgidson. Blurg stepped lightly on the dry twigs, trying to stay as silent as she could. The trap had been set hours ago, and she had seen many rabbits foraging in the area. The trap must have caught one but it wouldn't do to come crashing through the brush just the same. As she neared the place where the rabbit lay impaled on the wooden spikes, she knelt to say a short prayer to the rabbit god. Before she could finish, she felt a tantalizing rush of warm, moist air on the back of her neck. She turned her head to see a sleek male velociraptor standing over her. Between his muscular legs hung his throbbing and ready instrument. Blurg did not move. Her eyes met his, and she could picture herself being taken from behind by the masterful beast. She was small even for a female, and this magnificent feathered reptile was large compared to most males she had seen. Blurg lowered her gaze, timidly, demurely, submitting to the animal's will. Okay, so when does a rape come in? I mean, I mean, she seems like she's kind of into it, doesn't she? I mean, you know, I'm not sure if this is the right fit for me. All right, let's cut.